Breaking news, the FDA has just approved a new gene therapy to be used to fight sickle cell disease. Now, the treatment could be life-changing for patients who are battling the blood disorder. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook explains. A medical breakthrough in curing sickle cell disease, a debilitating blood disorder, is now a reality. The technique is called CRISPR. Doctors say it's an infusion that works to snip out a piece of DNA linked to the ailment. People like 15-year-old Johnny Lubin from Connecticut could see his quality of life improved. It was really just a pounding pain in my back, like my lower back. And it'd really be hurting. Johnny inherited a sickle cell gene from each of his parents. Doctors say the painful condition is a lifelong genetic condition that affects hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen throughout the body in red blood cells. The disease causes abnormalities in those red blood cells, which makes them become sickle shaped, jamming blood flow and often leading to pain and serious health problems. The ailment dramatically shortens the lifespan of the nearly 100,000 people who have it, mostly people of color. According to the CDC, sickle cell disease occurs among about one out of every 365 black or African American births, about one out of every 16,300 Hispanic American births. I am extremely excited. Our patients have been suffering for so long and had so few treatments that I'm so hopeful that this will be a new therapy we can administer. This treatment is coming with some concerns. The FDA says it's continuing to monitor the risks of unintended gene edits, which in extreme cases can cause cancer. Johnny was part of a clinical trial of the new treatment and has already seen major quality of life changes. His father here weighing in. Uh, you know, his doctor said he's, you know, everything looks good. He can go and live his life as a normal kid. Doctors say patients who undergo this new procedure will have to be followed long term before experts can call this a cure. It can cost several million dollars and may not be suitable for every sickle cell patient. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News.